Okay, in this video what I'm going to show you is how to delete files and then also recover them using the recycle bin that is part of the SharePoint team site. So here we are on our SharePoint demo site. What I'll do is I'll go into my document library. So in here you'll see I have a number of documents. Now what I'm going to do basically is I will firstly select that document. Now what I can do is I can go to the ellipse here I can then go to the second ellipse here and you'll see that I have an option down the bottom here to delete that file. So a bit of a long way of getting around it. The other way I can do it is to have the file selected, go to manage and you'll see that again the delete option appears at the bottom of the menu. The final way using the menu basically is to go up to files up the top here with that file selected and select delete document. Now when I do select to delete a document I'll be asked whether I wish to send it to the recycle bin. So in this case that's okay. The document will then be removed from my document library as you can see and again it will be put into the recycle bin. Now a quicker way to get rid of items is simply to select that item and then what I'm going to do is press the delete key on the keyboard and it will give me the exact same action. So I'll be asked whether I want to send that to the recycle bin. So I'll go OK there. So there are now no documents in my document library as you can see. Now the ability to uh, send things to the recycle bin also applies to most other writers in SharePoint including the calendar, contacts, but what I'll show you is here in images. So I have an image here and in the bottom right you'll see that I again get the ellipse. I can then select that and the menu will then appear from the menu that appears I will select delete I will be again prompted to send this to the recycle bin and go yes and that image will no longer appear so now the question is how do I get to the recycle bin so the way that I get to it is via the site content so over here on the quick launch menu on the left hand side we click site contents and in the top right you'll see that I have a little icon here called recycle bin so if I select that that's a hyperlink that will then show me the three documents that I have deleted. So the one image and the two documents. Now if I want to restore just a single document I simply select that and press restore selection. It will then prompt me to make sure that it will restore that and it will then place that into the same location that it came from. If I want to restore multiple documents I can for example select them individually um, or I can select the option up here at the top to select all and then restore my selection and I go yes and then once we see the recycle bin is empty we go back to documents and we'll find both our documents are there and if we go to our images you'll see that the image that has been recovered from the recycle bin also appears again. So if I select this for example, uh, let me back, go back to documents actually, I'll select documents and I will select one of these items again, hit delete on the keyboard to send it to the recycle bin, I will go to site contents and there is it is again in the recycle bin. Now in this case if I want to purge that item from the recycle bin, so remove it totally so that it no longer can be recovered by myself but will save space all I need to do is select it and hit delete selection. I'll be then prompted that it will be deleted and from there it is now purged from the cycle bin and as a user I can no longer recover that document. So this has been a quick demo of how you can go in and delete a document either via the menu item or by selecting it and pressing delete on the keyboard and then going into site contents and then into the recycle bin and selecting the items to recover. You can also purge the recycle bin of items you no longer want. So really quick, simple and easy. So thank you very much for watching this video.